There we go, hopefully, no. Hopefully we'll run pretty good. There we go, let's see. There we go. Ugh, a little tired. Um, some coffee would have been good. <laughs> so, I just, you know, I was looking into different mobiles and so forward, and I'm still having my V20, which uh, I've been pretty satisfied with. Uh, you know, of course, there's always issues here and there, but I still think it's actually the best mobile that is out there. Uh, in regards of Android phones, because, you know, you can change the battery, right? Um, now, of course, in regards of the camera, but that seems to be the issue with every phone. But anyway, um, I had the plastic on, on the, on the camera in the beginning, and like the first year or something like that, and that worked perfectly without giving any scratch. Sadly, I was so stupid, so I took it off. Actually, I had one more, you know, I had like, a, I bought a yellow, oh, oh, do we have a problem here? Or maybe just the mobile. Um, or oh, the program has a way of stopping the, oops, there we go. Let's try again. Yeah, so I actually, I actually had one more, but I fixed it on, you know, to the camera, uh, which was a yellow, and I put it on, but I put it on the different way. So some of the pictures I have like, uh, you know, out in the side. <laughs> and I thought, I, I, I actually thought it was my new, you know, I had an, a cover that had a bigger battery and all that. And I thought it was the cover. So I complained about, but <laughs> actually I found out it was, uh, it was uh, the little thing that I hadn't. So I took that off at some point. Uh, and I took the other off as well. That was very stupid. Because just just the plastic itself that was normally on. That was actually was sticking pretty good to it. Uh, actually, you know, was pretty good protection against the glass. So just, you know, not far after I took it off from the glass of the camera lens. Well, the camera lens began to have, you know, ish, you know, uh, not issues, but, you know, still working and all that. But it has scratches, you know. And, of course, some actually broke the, you know, the glass and all that. I haven't actually broken the glass, but there are scratches, absolutely. So, that would be one of the things if I ever got a new version of the LG 20. I wouldn't take that off. I would keep it on, you know, because it was great protection. I don't think that was much more protection with the yellow thing I put on, but you know, it might have given a little extra layer, but I think just with the plastic would, you know, pretty much do it. Uh, I wouldn't take it off, that's for sure, as I stupidly did, because you know, you, you know, the phone is getting old and you would have expected that that was actually coming something better and so forward, but no, 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 because they all have gone crazy, daisy and don't make mobiles that can change the battery. Now, of course, the thing that you actually, you know, this is a pretty flat mobile, as you know, in regard, or maybe you don't know, but you know, the, the LG 20 is a flat mobile like many of the others. I really don't understand it, why they didn't put some more thickness on it and a bigger battery. And then they could also have, you know, um, helped on the camera lens not being, you know, out there. You know, just, you know, make some, you know, yeah. Um, but in any case, they didn't. And uh, But of course, if you get one of these modified uh, batteries, you know, like 6,000 uh, milliamps or 10,000 milliamps, it's bulging outward and thereby you actually get protection for the camera as well. Actually, I have... I actually have one. Actually, I bought one that I never got. So, and, uh, but anyway, it's like this, for example. And you get, you know, it's bulging outward. So, you know, you get protection for the, for the camera. Um, so that's one easy way to at least get some more protection for the camera. And then you get more power and all that because these small batteries are still too small for me. And, you know, I'm changing the batteries all the time, you know, when using the mobile. And it's, yeah, it's sucking the battery quickly. But maybe it's also because I have, usually I have this up on 100%. That's, by the way, one of the things that I'm looking forward. I just, you know, I was looking into different phones, like the Librem 5 phone and 
there's one more Linux phone out there, the Librem 5, and what was the other phone? There is another phone. Let's, let's see if we can actually no, no see here. Um, and I actually, you know, this program Videoda has so much spyware in it. But the problem is, I can't find something that is, you know, and there's advertising and all that. But I can't find anything that is you know, as good as this to download uh, YouTube videos. Um, so uh, so that's a problem. I, I do have something that hopefully would have taken over, but it hasn't really, you know, it's uh, the other program is uh, from, let's see here, uh, YouTube downloader, but it's just not as good as Videoda. It, you know, it, you can, Videoda can do it pretty much on the fly. Um, you know, you just copy the URL and uh, that was a hard one. And then pretty much it says, hey, you want to download this file? Yeah. And uh, then you can download the, the file and see it in a in a video program. And that's also one of the things where it's, it's crazy days in regards to Android. I haven't really been, you know, I haven't been able to find a video program that's just perfect, you know, that doesn't have issues, you know, it's just, for, you know, and still have fast speed and all that, and, and, and can actually play in the background without any issue, and you can go into the, I have two programs, one I actually paid for, because I actually thought I had found something that worked, what it was actually did work, but uh, apparently when I bought it, the paid version didn't work, and then the not paid version didn't work either, and just a mess, um, so I was like, okay, I found this program and it's it's great and all that working, but you still had the thing in the middle in regards of advertising. But besides that, it worked. And then I pay for it and then it doesn't work, you know. Um, anyway, so but I still have that version and it's like, it's, it's weird in regards of working, not working, whatever. Um, so I have another version um, of a video program. And we have... Okay, so that's the Librem 5. Where is, is there anything in regards of maybe my last searches? Maybe if I just, um, I just close this one and see, oh, Samsung Fold, no. Does God exist? No, no, no. Nazi Knights of Malta in your face. Nope, nope, no. It doesn't really see. Oh, that was Nunastine. Oh, it's actually looking for. Uh, that word, Nunastin, New States, New Stestin. Well, I think I have, have fungus in my, well, we all, all have fungus, but I think I have like an uncontrolled fungus infection and had it for many years. But anyway, that's a, a, a you know, we're all going to the grave. Apparently the, the so-called doctors or whatever they, you know, they can't figure anything out. Um, yeah, they just kill you instead, right? <laughs> Anyway, uh, what was it called, that phone? Um, uh, we have the Librem 5. That's at least one of the Linux uh, phones. And that is, uh, the, the, the thing is, you know, I heard that they were going to release it, you know, soon. So I was thinking that might be the thing that could replace my V20. But apparently the release thing is you know where they're going to release it over time so that seems to be uh, not at not at least an option for uh, uh, nowadays so here we have that there we have the advertising and all that and uh, we have two so-called anti-catholic movies they say you know it's ca from catholic sources you know just have to be aware that you know don't always trust the roman catholics in regards to pointing to movies and all that um, because the movies might actually promote, you know, other things than real Christianity. Um, so, being anti-Catholic, I don't know. Anyway, so here we have Tom Fress exposes the Global Vatican, which is actually is a book that is written by a Roman Catholic. Uh, number nine was great. Number nine of this series, I actually did the uh, save. Uh, thought it was pretty good. Um, having a good uh, lots of gold nuggets, and I re-listen to it. Uh, you know, sometimes you find things that. Uh, but anyway, okay. Oh yeah, pine, pine, pine. There we go. My brain is working a little again. Uh, the pine phone is also said to be uh, a Linux phone. 
So you have both the Pine phone and the Libra phone coming in the future, it seems, in regards of apparently we have some problems. Again, I probably need to reset this mobile uh, at some point. Uh, I guess in regards of the new update that is coming, which actually was the subject, um, it will, uh, oh, here we have Pine phone. Uh, it might be a good idea to reset the, the mobile itself. Uh, it seems a little messy after, um, and it's a long time since I actually reset it. Here we have the Pine phone, an open source smartphone supported by all major Linux phone projects and so forward. And the stats are not really compared to the, you know, it's not really big, big, biggie, but uh, anyway. Uh, I'm not sure if you can change the battery in it, but uh, that's the Pine phone and then you have the Librem phone. And I was looking in regards, I would like to have something totally open, you know, but uh, um, you know, I think looking at the things, the Pine phone of the Librem 5, and as you can see, I looked also at the, you know, at this new technology, uh, which actually looked pretty good in regards of um, let's call it see here the Samsung fold and there's another one in regards of Samsung fold uh, but you know I really want to get away from Google you know um, Samsung fold it's like you know they really have you at at the balls in some sense uh, Samsung fold So that was one that I looked into and I was like, hmm, that looks interesting. Um, I was thinking in regards of biblical studies and so forward, you know, you would, you know, you could have a whole screen with you. And if you actually had a portable keyboard, if you're on the go, you know, uh, like in Israel or whatever, you know, you could easily have, you know, so you could write, you know, things on the, on the way with a, with a portable keyboard and put this in. I think it was Lucky Tech that have made this keyboard where you can just put it down in like a, a great position so you actually have like a laptop, I guess. Uh, I think that would be pretty, you know, that would be a minimalistic thing if you're on the road. Um, that was possible. I also like that it actually had two microphones like in the old days of Nokia 95. Uh, so you actually have a microphone here and a microphone over there. And as I understand, it's pretty loud. There is another uh, two-fold uh, thing. Was it called Fold X or something like that? Um, but both of them are pretty expensive. Now, of course, I don't have the cash or the resources. Um, so I'm pretty much totally broke. Uh, actually under the under the line uh, which is not good actually because we are right in I think we are in the middle of the month or something like that but anyway um, here's the other phone uh, so this is one phone and, and then you have the other now, I can't remember the name of this but it only has uh, uh, what do you call it a uh, speaker in this where the other has speakers on both sides the problem, of course, is again, you can't change the battery and all that. But, I, you know, in regards of having a huge screen, in regards of biblical applications, you know, I could see, I don't know if the uh, biblical applications actually works as it, as, as I understand it, there's something in regards of the applications needs to be fixed for these things. But, you know, I could, you know, my sword bible and bible bishop bible time and so forward uh it would be interesting to see what those applications would do on those you know mobiles i could see the you know the idea of having you know where i could you know doing the research and having a bigger screen to do the research i don't know if it's actually needed as such but i could have more text on the screen and all that <laughs> so in regards of biblical things i was thinking okay that might actually you know i could just you know buy a cheap chaplet i guess and try that out before actually uh you know to see if it's actually worth anything but you know the idea of having the phone and the tablet in one so you have all the data in one place and all that and don't need to uh that seems to be pretty nice as well um 
I don't know, you know, it's just I was looking at it and it absolutely looked interesting. Now again, the problem is that you probably can't change batteries in these. And the question then is, how long will the battery actually... There's apparently two batteries in both of them. Yet, compared to the screen and so forward, I'm not so sure it actually is, uh, is uh, you know, uh, lasting so long as I would usually... Uh... But anyway, you, you can look at those. Uh, I can't remember... Oh, yeah. No, no, I've... No, what's it called? I can't I can't remember the total name of of it but you know the at least it found it on the on the pictures uh, so one is the Samsung fold and the other is the let's see if we can find a name okay oh <laughs> I'll just go to the place Okay, uh, so it's a uh, Huawei. I can't even say it. Who, Hawaii, Hawaii, Hawaii. <laughs> I can't remember how you say it, but a Mate X versus the Samsung Galaxy Fold. Uh, but as I understand it, this is still new technology. No later. Um, or never at all. Uh oh, we have a problem with the connection. It should. Again, I'm on 4G, so I don't understand why it actually uh, is complaining about that. Um, but one folds one direction, the other folds in the other direction. Um, this is the expensive uh, one of the two. Um, and there you can see it folding in regard. And I guess, you know, it's, it's actually, you know, it's. You know, I could see the 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 great thing with it, but you know, would be nice to try it out. Now, of course, I don't have the money yet anyway. But um, you know, just looking into uh, you know, okay, it's interesting. You know, having the Bible with you, and you nearly can have it in then a book size, like a like the New Testament. You know, um, I guess it must be like the size of a New Testament. Let's see here. Oops, there we go. I have like, uh, let's see if we have, uh, there we go, for example. I would guess that the mobile will be around this size. And that's maybe a little bigger, but, and then you can open it like a book, you know, like a mobile and have it like big, you know, double size, you know. Uh, and that's pretty, you know, that's pretty much the size that I, you know, have the New Testament in and yeah, and then of course I can have the New Testament in the mobile. Of course, again the problem would still be the power of it, and there's no option of actually putting a bigger battery in, in those two guys. And I would still be having issue in regards of Google. It's very really annoying. It's really I really want to to spell Google. Um, that's why I'm looking at the Linux phones. But again. <laughs> At the moment, I, I just don't see any, uh, you know, if I had the money, I would probably buy another one of these guys that I have, the V20, because there's not pretty much nothing that pretty much seemed to, uh, you know, um, that's pretty much any better. Now, I would have liked to actually have some more space on the phone itself, but it has 64 gigabytes. Um, I would have liked to at least have 128 would have been nice or even more but that's you know just you know if lg actually made this phone just with more space that would work fine with me you know um yeah um you know if they pretty much just kept uh, pretty much everything as it is they you know might put one of the newer modules of the cpu and a little more space and all that you know, if they just kept the camera, the resolution of the screen and all that as the same, I would be fine. Just a little more, maybe a little more RAM as well. You know, apparently it seems like people are also getting into the issue of Android actually beginning to complain and close down applications. And I've actually also tried that. And uh, now sometimes I do have a lot of applications opened, you know, uh, and uh, 
you know, that might be an issue. I still do not understand why they haven't made like when you open this window to check other, uh, you know, to check other windows that why not just make some small, you know, you know, you know, so you could just push, you know, and see the whole things, you know, just, okay, this is the BS player. This is the mobile networks. Maybe even only use the icons as you see in windows and just be able to push on it, you know, quickly. Uh, that would be a nice option because, you know, going through this and that and looking for what you're looking for can take a little time. And I think it would actually be, you know, easier if you had had the whole thing and you just could, you know, OK, I want this application and just, you know, go into it really quickly. I don't know. Anyway, just uh, just a thing that um, another thing is this men menu in the bottom here. I'm getting kind of tired of needing to push the little dot on the left in regards of when you go into an application. Let's try to go into whatever. Let's try that one. I haven't been in that for a long time. And uh, if it wants to open, of course, you continue. OK. Uh, why is it have they made so you need an account for this? Oh, well, I uh, can't remember I used an account for this uh, in the past. But anyway, let's just whatever. Um, loading. Um, so you can see the menu in the bottom here. And the camera pretty much had some issues here. That's the program, I think. Um, or maybe it's in regards you every single program I've had in regards of being able to record and have the camera on uh, has has issues with stopping the camera. So this I haven't found one single program that actually doesn't do it. Uh, but as you can see, the menu down here, you have the little square here that actually can do so it hides it or not. But it seems like this thing actually ends up resetting itself and then we have the camera again um i guess it's when the mobile is doing a lot of things the camera breaks down but of course a new one of the newest cpus you know for android might actually you know if you put it in the v20 and just a little more ram you know and you know some more space on the mobile itself but everything else just you know just keep it you know it would be pretty pretty awesome but I don't think they will do that and uh, but you know you know everything else in the bone pile is pretty much great and if they keep the resolution and the camera lenses and all that that would be fine with me because I don't really need more of you know you know I could I could settle with these smaller so-called smaller resolutions of of the camera you know um, Many of these Linux phones actually seem to keep the resolution to 720p in regards of. So if you're going to go above that in video resolution, you wouldn't get anything out of it in regards to the Linux videos. And it's still pretty good quality and all that. So and it's, you know, you can keep the, you know, the the space you know being small and all that. But you know, there's so many ways of being able to fill the phone, you know, and uh, of course, I think they're doing it on purpose because you you can put the things on. Well, you can, but then it begins to, you know, folders, weird folders here and there. Um, but some of the applications, you, it, it just lays it on the phone instead of actually on the SD card. Now, of course, in the future, uh, it will be possible also to get a thousand and, you know, a terabyte on, on your phone in regards of a memory card. Now... I, I would have thought that it would actually have become more uh, normal now, but because as I understand it, it's a you know pretty long time since they released this one gigabyte card. Uh, so, but apparently it takes time for. Um, remember that was one of these gigantic phones in the past and was sold with one gigabyte. So the one gigabyte should be available, but apparently they're still. Uh, I guess that's a great big market for it or something like that. Or maybe they just don't want, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, but at some point you will be able to get one gigabyte of, 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 I'm oh, sorry, one terabyte. And I have, I have 400 gigabytes at the moment. It is, well, I haven't filled it up, but it's, you know, it's getting there. 
Uh, I still have 70 gigabytes, so it's it's not totally uh, it's not totally uh, filled up, but but you know it's it, it's getting tired. You know I'm getting tired of moving stuff from the from the memory of the phone to the SD card. You know because it only has 64 gigabytes and it fills up with you know I don't know what it fills up with, but it fills up that's for sure. Uh, probably a reset will help on that, you know. I don't know what actually takes, maybe some of the books takes a lot of space. I do have a disk usage program, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, and you can see the, the see storage card, I don't storage, I must be. No, it actually should have been the other one, I think. Uh, but then I can actually show you, uh, you know, how, what it actually filling up on your mobile but still uh i see this is i think this is actually yeah this is the 400 gigabyte which is actually not 400 gigabyte but anyway let's take the storage card um that would be nice you know if they made a version like 256 gigabytes or something like that um you know 128 would actually just also be pretty good but 64 is just yeah, it, it, it just fills up um, and if you could extend that to you know to maybe maybe 265 or maybe even more uh, I would actually you know uh, be pretty happy 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 but you know probably not going to happen again you could keep the battery as such you know it would be nice with a you know if if they fixed a little bigger battery so it also protected the camera better but you know you can't get everything but and of course you could just buy one of these customized uh, batteries so you would get that you know so it's not a big you know that would not wouldn't, wouldn't be a big issue you know just more memory in the in the mobile to some more ram um, and uh, what was it the last thing some more ram some more space wasn't there one more thing? Uh, I can't remember. Anyway, probably not going to happen. Oh yeah, maybe an upgrade of the CPU. You know, um, if there's anything faster and so forward, you know, they could. But here you can see, you know, 60 gigabytes and media is 33.6. And, you know, it quickly fills up. Uh, and I'm not cause there's some DCEM camera that's the camera then we have some super screenshots apparently uh, this, yeah and screenshot anyway this is a nice nice program it's called uh, let's see what it's called it's called disk use and this is the one and disk use is uh, well you know it just, just does what it does and uh, you know of course you know, if they could have in, incorporated something like that in Android. There was something in regards to the new Pine where they had somewhere, it's like a circle or something like that. But I don't think it would be as good as this, you know, where you can see the files, you can go closer and all that and see where you have the things and all that. It's um, So you can begin to clean a little up. I can see the most of it is, is my media things. Um, and in regards to some fixing files and all that. And uh, yeah, um, my sword is like three gigabytes. That's a Bible program. That's pretty big as well, three gigabytes. Uh, pictures apparently also. But anyway, the things fills up. And again, a little more space on the mobile itself would actually be nice. Uh, because again, it seems like oh yeah, that was one of the one of the mobiles where you had the you know the new mobiles. It was like uh, after the the guy that tested the mobile, he said the whole system fills like fifty gigabytes, and he hadn't done anything. He hadn't installed anything as I understand it. Fifty gigabytes for a system. That's that's wild. Now, I've got, but of course, the, that's the insane thing because if you go on over to the Linux, you can pretty much have, you know, nearly, you know, still small size. Like in the days of Windows 2000 and even Windows XP, you know, where 
the system didn't fill like you know uh, fill up like you know gigabytes of space. Um, yeah, in those days where before the crazy daisy things where they just went totally um you know yeah crazy daisy with these things. Um, so. So one of the things in regards to Pine will be interesting in regards to this new menu, as I understand it, where you can do the things by just, you know, some, uh, some you know, movements of the thing and all that. And if that thing is not there, and I don't know if they will make it, it's like it's moved down. I've seen, I've seen the Google version where they have still like this weird thing down there to, sh to show that they have, uh, that it's in the bottom. But then I saw another where they had just removed that and just, you know, just needed to do the gesture at the bottom and it would do it. But uh, the screen itself would, uh, would be used. So that seemed pretty nice. So that will, you know, be an interesting feature. Um, Oh yeah, by the way, um, just a suggestion out there. I was testing different charger chargers and uh, don't do as I did because I think I pretty much just, you know, not totally destroyed the charging in the mobile, but it has difficulties, really some really difficulties uh, now. And I went out and bought a uh, Hui, Howie, whatever, Howie, uh, you know, um, charger because it said it had uh, it had five volts and two amps, and then it could go to nine volts and two amps. And I was thinking maybe I can charge the battery just a little quicker, you know, because the standard original. Uh, now, of course, this is with the English thing and all that, but I have a normal stand, standardized, uh, you know, so this is a little big, but this is the original. And it has 9 volts, you know, up to 1.8 amps. So, you know, you have 5 volts to 1.8 amp and 9 volts for 1.8 amp. I was like, okay, so I can actually get 0 0.2 amps more out of this guy, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, actually... Uh, Actually, the mobile got pretty hard, and I was like, hey, let's see if what happens and all that. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Uh, yeah, I did stupid. Uh, don't do that. Don't go out and buy a Huawei, uh, you know, uh, charger and all that, uh, because it seems like I actually hurt my mobile. Now, I still am able to charge, but there seems to be something totally, you know, wrong with the charging. But I have... I have two of these guys, um, charging devices with batteries. Um, now pretty much the, the thing is, has broken off. Actually, one of them I took it off and the other one is just broke. You know, it's just, yeah. yeah. Uh, I guess I took the wrong one in regards to trying to take it off. Uh, or maybe it's just because it's just cheap plastic. Um, but as you can see over here as well, I have a charging device and I can quickly swap the battery. It's called swap, I think, in regards of English. But it was, you know, in regards to the fast charging and all that, which I still think was, you know, kind of, you know, there's some things in regards of silliness, you know, when you're putting the mobile in the charger and still the mobile will use more, you know, because it gets heat, you know, the heat and all that. And, and then it closes off anyway. And so, you have to not use your phone and it has to have closed screen for actually fast charge. And I just think that's, you know, in, in um, compared to the old Note 2, it could just charge whether I used it or not. And it seemed to have no problem with the uh, heat and so forth. But apparently, you know, whatever. Um, in any case, don't go out and buy, a, you know, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't even use a, a, a uh, Huawei charger for the V20, you know, it's just stupidity, you know, you have these, you know, USB and, you know, these things, you would think that you could be able to charge a mobile without any risk with a foreign charger, right? Well, apparently not. So don't recommend this. Don't, don't use a Huawei uh, charger. If you, if you don't want to hurt your mobile, you know, don't use this. 
you know, it, it, it doesn't happen at, you know, at the, you know, just, you know, plugging it in and plugging it out. It, it happened a little more, you know, a little longer charging. And uh, it's, it's, it's a little weird because now I think actually this seems to actually charge better than the others. And yet it's slower than what it was when it actually, when the mobile worked as it should. Uh, so that's, um, so it's, it's, yeah. And, and the, and yeah, it's it just, don't do it. You know, just, just use the thing that is, you know, and buy an original charger. I actually have one European charger in here. And that also seems after I pretty much, uh, you know, did this, it seems like there's a difference still that one of the charges seems to actually, you know, work, uh, you know, a little, uh, at least the charges is where the other had now have tremendously problems. So this is the other one, um, European charger, you know, so it doesn't have to have a, anyway, original from LG and all that, and not that, that expensive. But anyway, uh, I would recommend that instead of of uh, trying to. I was thinking, you know, in regards of, you know, if I could just squeeze a little more out in regards of charging the mobile, that would be great. You know, just a little, you know. Um, I've tried different chargers, as you can see here. I have, I have this guy, I have this guy, and I've tried some others and all that. The thing is, nothing really beats, you know, the original charger, so. So that's, yeah, and apparently it seems like I hurt my mobile. So again, don't do that, you know, just a suggestion. Um, you know, when I check for charging the mobile, now I have this, you know, USB thing to check it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Um, so, yeah. So something seems to have been pro broken. Uh, again, it's not un it's not it's not impossible. Well, at least, yeah. Well, anyway, but it's it's still something, you know. Anyway, this is the ch the thing where I can check it. Anyway, it doesn't look. Yeah, uh, but again, I still have the other chargers, so it's not a big issue for me. But of course, it's nice to be able to actually charge your phone on the road without actually needing to have like a charger with you. <laughs> so, um, oh yeah, one other thing that really is an issue for me, which I'm really annoyed about is, uh, is up here in regards of the lightning. If I put the auto thing on, uh, as as it is, and I think it, you know, how how couldn't they, you know, implant a feature that actually, you know, they they just needed to implant implement a feature, just one scroll bar to actually tell how sensitive a compared in regards to the light conditions and all that one wanted it. Yeah, um, but it doesn't, of course. Um, you actually have that feature in some sense in uh, at least on my Note two when I jailbroke it which actually it wasn't that, you know, it began to have issues after I jailbroke it. But anyway, uh, I couldn't really find one system that I could, but it was like a no two special edition thing, uh, which I actually hadn't ordered, but then I just accepted it. And when I then began to jailbreak it, you know, a year after or something like that, you know, I got into all the issues that I already have thought about that I would need our original, original Note 2. So, because that would be the one that most people have had toyed around with. Anyway, so I got into a lot of issues in regards to this and was not really happy, happy, happy. Um, but the thing with the auto thing is that it's, it's, uh, it's just too low. And I'm sure the auto thing could actually, you know, uh, give me some extra juice if it worked. But the problem is it just gets a little lower than is, you know, is, is what I, you know, where, you know, I still have hard time to see the things. Um, so it doesn't really work for me. And, uh, you know, it, it could probably save some battery, um, you know, from using the mobile if it actually worked. Uh, in the new Pi version, it seems like they have made some automatical thing 
I, 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 don't, I don't understand why it should be so hard just to make something that I can adjust myself. But apparently, at least, they seem to have where the uh, mobile will apparently learn or adjust how you put the settings, you know. So, so it will, you know, it will check or surveil you in regards of, okay, there's so much light and you put it here and all of that and whatever. Um, I don't know, understand why, it's, why, it's, how, why it would be so difficult to just, you know, put a thing and in regards to how much, you know, you know, do you want it here or there compared to how, you know, just, but anyway, they, they did this out, you know, where it checks for your own routines, I guess more surveillance or whatever. Um, but at least it's in the right direction, you know? Um, it's just pretty late to actually fix something like that, you know, but at least, you know, something is, so that's a, a feature that could actually be interesting as well. That might actually help a little on the uh, 94 and so forward. It might help a little on how long it will last. Uh, if I could just have this auto thing, you know, put on. Because usually I'm just too tired of, you know, the, so just put it on 100%, auto off, and then we are running. Um, so, and then of course, again, it takes, you know, battery and some places it, w it would not be needed. Um, yeah, so that's a feature as well that seems to be, would be interesting. Another thing that will be interesting is in the former edition, they had like gray background and uh, uh, they didn't have this orange thing around it. And I, you know, I, I actually, and they had the, t the theme down here was like squares, you know, and it was actually pretty nice instead of these round bubble things, whatever. Um, I have no idea why LG would change the theme because I really love that theme that was there, you know, in the past version. You know, why would they change the theme? But they did, apparently. So the same name for the, t for the theme, and yet they changed it like black background instead of gray background, and this thing around it and all that, and these, uh, and these uh, round ones instead of the nice, uh, square ones and all that that looked very it looks very you know it looked very futuristic in some sense i really like that um and so now we just get these stupid bubbles um that was also differences was, was it, nah, it's hard to remember everything i think there was some no nah, i can't remember um also this menu up here where it had text memo, handwriting memo, photo memo, and voice memo, and quick memo plus and all that. Um, that broke after I updated it. So the up now I haven't tried to refresh the phone, you know, because then I need to set it all up again and all that, and I don't really, you know, want to do that. <laughs> At least, you know, if I can, you know, postpone it anyway. But I think the next update might actually be a good thing to actually uh, save everything and then just do a reset of it um, you know start over at some sense and hopefully it will be easily installing all the applications and of course there will be in, uh, some setup things that will be need to be done but hopefully not too much uh, but that broke apparently that's usually a menu menu uh, up there but I found out I could just you know uh, fix every one of them in a in a so I did that it doesn't look as good now of course it's just a vis visual thing but I also think actually if I remember correctly it actually uh, it actually was uh, like like only four squares instead of five squares so uh, yeah anyway that will be interesting in the future version uh, you know yeah, anyway, so I looked on the Linux mobiles and I was looking forward to see in regards to the Librem 5 and I'm still looking forward to see what they are going to, to make of it. You know, can, you can change battery and all that and there's still a jack stick and all that. Um, but, you know, they would they said it would be released in, in, in the third quarter and actually they have... Uh, 
and, and they have given out in regards of of um, you know how they will do the production and all that and it's it's going to be from quarter three and then forward so it's not like everybody is getting their mobile as I understand it from the third quarter it will just be the beginning of them beginning to send it out you know uh so it will be a further uh, thing and i was like okay yeah okay it's just it's, it's in the future right and so and then i looked into those you know uh foldable mobiles in regards to those two which looks interesting but again very expensive and they're not released either and again you can't change battery so again at this point i'm still at like you know I would actually, I was thinking of buying another version of the V20 uh, because, you know, I know how the mobile works, right? And, uh, you know, I'm pretty satisfied with it, uh, but I know the issues that it have and all that. But, you know, if it broke, that would be the same phone I would buy today. And that would be a V20. But I guess maybe in the future it will not be possible to get a V20. You know, then I will fo be forced to to use something else, and uh, so I, I I do wonder if I should actually, you know, if I had the mo money at the moment, I would order a V20, you know, um, and and have it as a backup, uh, maybe even setting it up and just laying it there and all that, and if one breaks or something like that, I could just pick up the other one um and and pretty much go from there that would be nice because again nothing has really come around that is you know you don't have anyone that really you know is a flag model that has the you know you can change the battery uh, you have the sd card um or micro card where you can put more you know um you pretty much have a you know and of course you have the the jack stick with you know pretty good sound and all that you know you pretty much have everything at your hand and it actually works pretty good but still with its issues here and there so actually just buying you know there will always be issues from one model to another model to a you know and i know the issues with this model so you know that would you know i don't what i wouldn't need a learning curve and all that i guess maybe the software would pretty much be the same from android to android and all that but you usually get some interest different things right uh, you know where you have this issue or that issue and you're not you know um so i do wonder in regards of the camera how they're going to because that is a mistake in the camera thing uh, at least one of the mistakes in regards of the 60 frames per second if you run 60 frames per second, there's this option of, uh, that's three options. But the thing is, the problem is it doesn't really uh, work. It doesn't matter which setting you put it at. It will still do the same. I think it's like low quality, medium quality, and high quality. Uh oh, that's my leg. Um, that was, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, that was not uh, in intentionally. Uh, uh, my... Uh, yeah, uh, let's see here if we can find it. Um, and that's my foot, okay. Um, let's see, yeah, there we go. Let's see if I can can keep the camera away from my from my naked legs here. Um, so let's see here. Why is it? Maybe it's up in the auto can't even remember you know here we have the 60 frames per second yeah and do we or maybe it's the other it's probably over in the manual uh, yeah there you go the bit rate is said to be either low medium or high well the thing is it doesn't matter what what is set to because it will not change when you run when you run the 60 frames you know if you run 30 frames it will change but not if you're running 60 frames so you know if it doesn't change anything why do they have that setting you know uh that's stupid you know uh i don't know if they will fix that uh in regards of the update i don't know 
but it's just stupid. I've checked the files and all that to check if there's any differences and there's not. Uh, it's, it's the same. Um, so if you're running 60 frames, at least on my phone, uh, maybe I just need to restart it or something like that. But of course, 60 frames is making the phone pretty hard. So I guess it's, yeah, I don't know. Any case, there we go. Um, but that would be one of the issues as well. Now there, are, you know, another issue I have with this mobile is in regards of charging because I don't have any password or the what do you call the 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 what is it called the 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 finger opening what is it called? Um, I don't have any lock on the mobile because I don't see a reason why to have a lock on the mobile. It's just like being able to tap twice. Oh, it actually also closes down on the top. Oh yeah, F, okay. But I like to have the option to just tap and open it up, you know, and not needing to do anything, you know. Of course, the fingerprint can be done to that, but then you can't open it up just by double clicking. I actually had forgotten that you could actually just turn it off like double uh, padding, hmm, okay. I knew I could open it up by doing it, but not in regards of actually, oh, interesting. <laughs> anyway, I guess I've forgotten about that. Oh, nice. Um, but the thing is, when you plug the USB cable into the mobile, it, you know, it just does like this, it opens up. And the problem is when you're charging, you need to have the screen off because it won't fast charge. And I have no idea why just plugging it in would just open it up. You know, what's the need of that? You know, that's just stupid. And I have it like on 15 minutes before it actually closes down again. So that's just, you know, so every time I fix it in the, the USB to charge it, I would need to, you know, I would need to do, you know, this afterwards. And it's not a big thing, but it's just annoying thing. You know, every time I plug it in, you know, and you just need to wait and then, you know, fix it like, you know, so it so it turns off. Um, so, it, you know, it goes for fast charging. Now, of course, in regards of having issues with the charging now, that's uh, another problem, of course, uh, but that's my own fault. But I still don't understand it. You know, you have this standard, right, of USB and, and all that, and then you can actually hurt your phone by using, you know, another charger from another company. Uh, that just seems outrageous to me. Um, I don't know if maybe resetting the mobile will maybe solve the issue, you know, because it does seem to be still be able to charge. So I don't know if it maybe could be on a software level that it's just have found out that the mobile gets way too heated. So I will take it down or maybe it's a hardware thing. I, I don't know, but you know, I'll, I'll, you know, uh, when the update comes around, I'll think I'll do a reset, you know, that might be a really good idea. So two features at least. And then of course, I'm looking forward to see what will change, um, in the version. You know, there will probably be some things, again, new issues, and maybe some of the old issues will be fixed. Uh, I do wonder in regards of the theme, if they might actually go back to the old, yeah, it would be nice, but I don't think they would, but it would be nice if they actually would go to the, to the past uh, theme that they had. Now we have a problem in regards to the connection, apparently. Uh, the network status is poor and I still do wonder why it would actually give me those issues because I'm still on 4G, so it shouldn't be a problem. Probably, s I don't know if, it's, you know, I don't know what the issue is, but, you know, it's giving me some issues. Maybe I can try to do like this and see if it would... Uh, Nope, still giving me issues. Um, 
I don't know if you can actually see it, but it's giving me the network status is pure and all that. Uh, and uh, okay, I I guess the problem with this live thing is that you're not allowed to actually set the resolution. Uh, which might actually have helped in regards of how much is uploaded and so forward. Um, so that's a problem. Um, the network status is poor. Yeah, so it's probably lacking or something like that. Um, but the problem is do recorder, which apparently doesn't exist anymore as far as I know. Uh, they have, uh, you know, you can set the video resolution and the video quality and all that. And yet, uh, in regards of YouTube, it will just, you know, it will, um, it will not set these settings. You know, 15 frames and all that would be fine and low resolution and all that. But running live, it just, you know, it just doesn't work. It would only run one, you know, main thing, and yeah, it's just stupid. Anyway, I guess uh, I've complained enough, but you know, I guess looking forward to uh, to the edition. And again, it just c continues to complain. There shouldn't be any complaint, you know, because I have 4G, and I can see on the upload, it's really not uploading much compared to what it could. Um, so. I don't know what is going on with that. Maybe maybe the 4G things are... Let's see. Okay, still coming. Okay, so I'm on 4... Oh, it's still continuing to complain. 